All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. Welcome to an academy neat English. Now, listen to me very carefully. This video is super important for all the people out there who are appearing for the neat twenty. And I'm hundred percent sure this video will help you to increase the two hundred marks in your upcoming neat twenty twenty. Okay. Do you guys know there is one statement? There is one thing. That's what we call the mock test analysis. What does mock test analysis mean? Mock test analysis means if you give the mock test afterwards, you guys are supposed to do what is that? That is in which portion I lagged. Like let's suppose for example, you were not able to solve the question in this particular portion, so you have to do the analysis afterwards. What was the reason behind that? Okay, so that you can learn from those mistakes in order to boost the marks. Now maximum number of students, I would say like. 80 to 85 percent of students do not do the mock test analysis, and this is where they lag, and this is where they lose marks in the upcoming. This is where they lose marks in the neat, neat exam. Okay, so in this particular video, I will be telling you what is the importance of mock test analysis and how this is going to increase you your 200 marks in the neat, and and most importantly, how you are supposed to do it for your neat exam. In the in in all the mock tests, okay. So that's why I'm saying this is super important, okay. This is not some sort of strategy, but this is something which you need at this point of time so that you can boost your marks, so that you can enter the medical college. That's why. Now, before that, let me just tell you one thing. Since we are talking about the mock test, we have recently launched All India Mock Test on An Academy, which is completely free of cost. You don't have to pay any sort of money over here. You just have to enroll. The link is in the description below. So join it as soon as possible. Completely free of cost. Okay. If it asks for the code, use my code Yawar Y A W A R. You can use that code and you can enroll in these mock tests. And since you guys know that what is the level of our content, and we guys are making these mock tests for you people only, and that's completely free of cost. So join it. Link is link is in the description below as soon as possible. Now, guys, listen to me very carefully. If I say over here, there are two types of students. First is those students who learn from the mistakes, and second category is who keep going. Okay, let's suppose they got the uh, less score in the mock test, they lagged in some portion. Let's see in the next mock test. Let's keep going. So this is the second category. But we have to look at the first category because we have to fall into this first category. We have to learn from the mistakes because we have to enter the medical college. Now see the first question over here is how do you learn from your mistakes? Okay, that's only by doing the analysis. I made this mistake in the mock test. Now I have to analyze it. What is the problem? What is the cause actually? So that I can rectify that, and next time I will not do the same mistake in the neat exam. Okay, so first and the foremost thing is let's talk about the importance of mock test analysis over here. Listen to me very carefully. The first importance is we say you won't be making any sort of mistake once again if you are going for the next mock test. That's if you do the analysis, okay? And next importance is basically it will boost your marks. You ask any of the toppers out there who have cracked the NEET or JE before, they used to do the analysis, okay? So we say we say they it will boost your marks. That's for sure. And most importantly, it will increase your confidence because you will be very strong at that portion afterwards once you do the analysis of that portion. And ultimately, we say all of these three will give you the selection. That's for sure. Okay, because these are the things which gives the selection. Okay. Now the question is, sir, how to do this analysis? How to do the mock test analysis? The first thing is, listen to me very carefully. If I talk about first, we'll talk about the questions which are basically asked in the NEET exam. The first one is we say the rapid those questions in which we give the rapid answers, quick answers. Okay, like ten to twenty seconds it takes, or even less than ten seconds it takes. So we say these are the questions which are mostly from the biology portion. Okay, then those 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 we say uh, questions which are medium which take medium time. Okay, like forty five seconds to one minute. Okay, they are mostly from the chemistry or and some from the bio also I would say, and then we say those questions which are time consuming, those questions which are time consuming. So we say it will take you one to one thirty minutes mostly for from physics. Okay, these are the questions which we say mostly from physics. Now, 
in order to not to make the mistakes in the exam, what you are supposed to do, you have to prioritize. Let's suppose you are going for the exam tomorrow. So what should be your priority? We say, first of all, you have to go with the biology. First priority is biology. You have to solve all the questions from biology because you will be saving a lot of time over here. That time you can utilize in the chemistry. Okay. And once you are done with the chemistry portion, so over here, you will have your own time plus bio, some time from the biology. So you'll be saving the time in chemistry also. That time you can utilize in the physics in which you take longer time in order to solve the questions, okay? So this should be your approach. This should be, should be your priority over here, okay? Next is, why, why you couldn't answer that question? Let's suppose you lagged in the exam, okay? You couldn't answer the question. You couldn't answer certain portion. There can be three reasons. The first one is conceptual problem, okay? You don't have the conceptual clarity. You haven't studied that well. This can be the first reason. We say second reason is unable to solve the problem. You are not able to solve that problem. Concept you have read, but still you are not able to solve that particular problem. And third point is we say, sir, you forgot the answer. Okay. This happens most, most, mostly in the biology. Okay. Now, 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 my dear friends, my dear friends, you have to identify all of this. If this is how you are supposed to do the analysis, why you lagged in there. So you have to check what is the problem actually, then you have to identify that. Now, my dear friends, if we say you have got the conceptual problems over here, you got the problems in the concepts, what is the solution that I can do right now in order to rectify those? We say we have the mega marathons going on on Academy Neat English. You can join those. We teach completely from the scratch till your, uh, till your NEAT level in those mega marathons and we complete all the syllabus in just one go, okay? You can join those mega marathons that can solve this particular problem. The second is we say if you forgot the answer, in that case, you will have to go for the NCRT reading. Once again, you have to read it over and again because I told you this happens mostly in biology. So that's why you have to focus on the NCRT reading more and more, okay? Then the third point over here is unable to solve the question. The conceptual clarity was good, but still you were not able to solve the question. So in that case, we say you have to solve the variety of problems. Like you have got, you, you were not able to solve the questions from, let's suppose Coulomb's law. So you have to solve the variety of problems on Coulomb's law. Then only you will be strong in that portion and you'll be able to basically solve every type of problem afterwards. Okay. Now the question is, how much time you should give for the analysis? How much time you are supposed to give for the analysis? We say maximum 90 minutes are enough uh, in order to do the anal analysis of your paper afterwards once you give the mock test. Okay, you don't have to waste much time in that. Okay, and most importantly, repeat this, this after every test. It's not like, sir, I'll do the analysis of a mock test today and tomorrow I'll not, in the next test I'll not. No, you have to do it every single time because then only you can rectify your mistakes and you can basically reach the top level. Now, there are some frequently asked questions regarding the mock test. So let's basically answer those questions over here. We say, how frequently should I give the mock test? Let me just tell you, if your syllabus is completed, you have done two to three revisions already. So in that case, I would recommend you to basically give the mock test in the alternate days. Like give the mock test today, tomorrow you take the break and prepare for it. And day after tomorrow, you'd give the mock test, okay? And if, if your syllabus is incomplete, then I say you give uh, in a week, you give two or one mock test that completely depends upon your preparation, how much you have completed your syllabus, okay? Then, then, do high scores in mock tests guarantee high scores in need? This is a very important question. We say yes, because in whatever the coaching you are studying in, okay? Like in Unacademy, we are basically making the mock tests which are having a good level in which every pattern of question, every concept is involved. So if you are able to score in that mock test very good, means tomorrow for sure in your NEET exam, you'll be getting the good score. Because, because, examiner because when it comes to the teachers when it comes to the examiner who creates the mock test they always set a good standard of the mock test so that tomorrow if by chance the toughest paper will come in the need this student should be able to solve that portion also that paper also in the neat exam so that's the reason we say if you score good in the mock test means you will score good in your neat exam even more than that in the neat exam that's for sure and i have seen this with my experience okay then you have chapter wise mock tests or full syllabus mock tests, which you are supposed to go for over here. Now, listen to me very carefully. When it comes to the chapter wise mock tests, 
let's suppose for example you have you are right now into this preparation okay so you are done with the entire preparation first i would suggest you to go with the portion wise mock tests okay and then you can go for the full syllabus mock test so that because when it comes to the portion wise mock test chapter wise mock test it helps you to basically solve more and more problems from that particular chapter and in our mock tests in an academy all of these will be involved and that to completely free of cost that's why i told you to join okay and and my dear friends there is one more important announcement that i want to make over here that is you can level up your preparation this festival season festive season you can get up to 20 percent off on your neat ug subscription okay and this is valid up to 28 march you can use my code that is we say yawar i'll write over here that is yawar you can use my code that is we say this yawar okay so in order to unlock this in order to get this 20 percent off join it as soon as possible so thank you so much this was all about it make sure you like this video you share it with the friends and you comment down below okay so thank you so much